I just wanted to quickly run through the grips that I talked about in the how to grip your sword video because it was pointed out in the comments that you didn't really get to see very closely what it was I was talking about. The basic point is that the, the hilt is relatively small and what that means is that we can't get a finger through here. We can, but it would be a bit silly because there's no protection. And we don't have enough space to bring our thumb up as you would on a sabre. So our grip comes straight around like as if you were holding a hammer. So that's the basic grip that we're going to use. I'll show you some of the alternatives. This is a, a really, well, it's actually quite an old and cheap rapier. Um, but what this, this means is because the, the hilt is a little bit more complex, what they're able to do with this sword is bring your finger through. And that gives you much more specific point control. Um, we can't do that, so don't worry too much about that. Now with sabers, what you tend to find is because they don't have a large pommel that sits at the base of the hilt, providing a, a stop, if you like. What they're able to do is hold it and bring their thumb along the back of the blade. And again, this gives you a degree more precision. You could argue that perhaps it's a less powerful cut. But let's be honest, it's probably going to be powerful enough. But the fact is, due to the space restrictions that we have on a, on a standard back sword, that's not something we're able to do. So, hammer grip, not thumb across the back, not fingering the ricasso. I hope that's clear.